youtube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Yo, Tim Westwood TV, I'm Captain Capital Extra, Jacques, baby, welcome back. What's man? poppin', mate? Good to have you back. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm glad and to be back. have you back shining. Yeah, definitely. The progression from last time to this time, it's like making moves. Yes, sir. Feels good. Yes, sir. A lot of hype on the show, congratulations. That's a nice venue. Yeah. You're going to tear that down. Yes, sir. There's only 40 tickets left. Whoa. Yes, sir. 40 tickets left. And they're going to be gone in a heartbeat. Yes, sir. They're probably going to be gone after this. They're probably gone already, fam. Definitely. From the last time you checked. And you know, like, when you... Those early shows, those early, early shows, man, like, just at that real takeoff period, they're the most exciting shows, man. Yeah, definitely. A lot of energy. You know? Memorable. Because, you know, when you get a chance to see you in a small venue, intimate venue, a lot of excitement around it. It's the best times. When you, you know, when you come back for those arena tours and you've gone around the world a dozen times, ain't the same shine. Because it's like, it ain't even that close. You ain't even <laughs> close to even touch, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you say, it's not that intimate. Yeah. Yeah, these be the most memorable times. I like feel. And the most exciting. I ain't really did too many arenas and stuff yet, so. All to come, family. Yeah. All to come. Oh, yeah, I just did a whole bunch of rings. I just got exactly. off to Chris Brown. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I forgot. Exactly. I just, I just got off the tour. Yeah. And also, I mean, obviously with that Chris Brown show, I mean, that, that's the arena, the opening act. Is, that's when, you, you know, you can see the difference when it's your show yeah. in that intimate environment, man. Definitely. I heard some of the new music. I was up in the Hit Factory in Miami. Oh, for with Birdman and they were mixing. Oh, okay, that's the, dope. Yo, crazy. Thank you, bro. I mean, I must have heard one track at least four hundred times. Probably so. <laughs> you know when they just mix in one track. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then Stunner just play stuff back to back anyway. Yeah, man, sounded crazy. Thank you, man. Bassline is intense. Yeah. And your like your melodies and your flow. I right, some of your best work, man. Thank you, bro. Feels good. Yes, sir. I mean, you don't seem to be short of music. Nah, never. I just made like seven songs while I've been out here. Seven, eight songs. Since you've been here? Yeah. A any collabs? Well, oh, no, nah, no. Nah, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did uh, two records with Jeremiah. I recorded those out here. And then I just did some original songs. Mad. Because, you, I mean, you drop an album, and yeah. then like a month later, you drop another four tracks. Yeah. Mad. Oh, yeah. I, was, I just leaked those, though. I was just leaking them. Leaked some records. It's on the internet, my SoundCloud. Yeah, just heating everything up. Yeah, just enjoying it, man. Just, just you know, seizing the moment. What do you enjoy most? Oh, talking about with the lifestyle. Yeah, just the life, everything. I enjoy it all. I, I enjoy the way I live. You know what I'm saying? I like going to different cities, countries, getting in the studio too. That's a, that's a. It's always fun. I like recording in London. Mm. Cause there ain't nothing else to do for real for me. You know, I like to just you know do what I gotta do and go to the studio. Is that right? You just like living in the studio? Yeah, I have fun in the studio because I could bring everything I want to the studio. Mm. The party, I could bring a whole restaurant to the studio if I want to. You know what I'm saying? I could bring whatever I need there. You can bring the club to the studio? Yep, I could bring the club, the DJ. <laughs> I could bring the bottles. <laughs> I can bring anything. I want <laughs> the stove. The I could bring the stove to the studio. I could tell the, bring all the new stuff to the studio. I want to see all the new clothes. Bring them. I ain't, you really too much ain't got to leave the studio. That's really what's up, man. Yeah. Bringing it to you. Yeah, bring everything to me, man. Everything. And do you find that just helps the work ethic? Yeah, definitely. You just, you be in your zone all day. Mm. Stay in your zone. Like, at a super turned up studio session, how many people would you have there if you were trying to bring the club there? It ain't got to be a lot. It's all about the vibe. Like, but yeah. I think the most, I, I don't have a packed studio session. Like in Atlanta, like I remember when I was working on my album, I remember um, we had a session one day. It was probably like, it's probably like 20, mm. 20, 20 people. Yeah. Like 20 people, in, uh, 20 people in the studio. Like for real, for real. Like girls, a mixture, you know, like girls and yeah. all my homies. And it was like 20 people. Like, And it was like lit. Super, because we was in a super big studio. Shout out to um, Molly in Atlanta and Tree Sounds. She let all the homies come through there. And she cooking everything, and um, yeah, I remember just being lit. Like if I wanted, a, I wanted like a party vibe mm. on the record. I think I forgot what song I was making. Or oh, it was probably some FYB music. But I just know we was super lit, super, super, super lit. 
like me in the studio, it just depends. Like how I want to feel. Like it ain't got to be packed. Like like out here in London, you know, we have a couple girls in the studio, but you know, we don't know them or nothing like that. But they already be there before we get there. <laughs> <Wait> <laughs> you know, they already be there before we get there. Thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, thing, man. they already beat up, man. Yeah. But I be like, we like I, I've been having a good time. I've been catching some good vibes in the studio, you know. Do you write in the studio? Yeah, I, I wrote out here. I wrote a verse, but I, uh, I pretty much just go in. Is that how you do it? I don't really write. I write in my brain. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I just listen to the beat. Like I can't really listen to beats outside of the studio because I right. think too fast. So I have to play all that stuff when I get there, and I just play the beat, and I just. Say just how vibe I feel. to it. Yeah, I yeah. just say how I feel. Sometimes I could sit down, you know, outside the stu- outside the booth and just play the beat and put put a couple words down and then just go in there and look at the words that I did and just go off of that. You know, I do that a lot too. I'll just start back doing that. So some of it is like pre written in your head, some yeah. of it is just freestyling and it's just like capturing that moment. I like to be on my phone too, because I might be on like Twitter or something and see some. You feel me? Dope. I might say that. So you must follow some like cool people to get inspired. Nah, I just I might not follow them, but I'll probably search their names or something. You feel me? Or it's like you know a lot of people retweet stuff on your TL. You might not mm. be following somebody, but different people might pop up on your timeline. You feel me? You'd be like, damn, how they get them? Because yo, somebody you was following retweeted it. That's how Twitter works. And then, do you feel like like having the homies there? Do you feel that helps you like know if it's good or not? Sometimes. You know Do they help critique? You yeah, know, yeah. say that's like yo. See, my homies. Uh, some of my homies, I trust their ear. Mm. You know, what I'm saying like my cousin KT, he got a good ear. You feel me? Like I trust his ear sometimes. <laughs> you feel me? But he got a good ear though. He mm. he pretty much knows what's hot and what's not. You know, yeah. I got some more homies that know what's hot and what's not. I got some homies don't know nothing. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> They're still my homies though. It's only really homies, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm serious though. Yeah, you know, yeah. but I I I take all of their criticism mm. because I know that they really love me and I know that they really know me and they mm. know where I'm trying to go with the music and they know the type of artist that I want to be and become you know what I'm saying so yeah my my home is in the studio because they always there even if I don't tell them to come they're gonna show up you feel me because lately I haven't even telling people I got studio sessions but I come out of the booth and everybody there which is cool because that's my family and then they make me uh it make me more comfortable you know, when I could when I could see everybody, it, it remind me of when we used to be in the neighborhood. Mm. You feel me? Just because I used to be singing on the block. You feel me? Just come outside, just sing it. So it's like I took that same energy and put it in the studio. You feel mm. me? So when I see all them like that, and they doing their thing, you feel me? It just remind me of that. You feel me? It just remind me of where we came from and shit. You feel me? For real, man. Because you could be in like a, a different studio. Engineers, you ain't your engineer. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and like you know, you're trying to that's find a your big vibe. frustrating, and that's mm. that's number one. In the studio, man, I always ask people like, "Hey, is it singer friendly? Like, like you, you, you work with singers? You did like, because mm. it's different from working with a with a rapper. You know, when you in the studio with an engineer. So, luckily, I've been working with some great engineers. I've been working with a great engineer out here. Home man, he ain't an engineer, but he dope. Yeah, well, I've been working with out here. But even in Atlanta, I see some. Uh, I, I work with a lot of dope engineers. I got my favorites too, though. You know what I'm saying? Would you ever think about like having an in house guy that you just bring with you? Yeah, I've, I've been talking about it. Crazy, you just said that. Yeah. I'm finna do that. Like I'm a, like next time I take a trip, trip, I should have a guy with me. That's 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 all he does. Engineer, I'll be like, hey, this my engineer right here. Exactly. Yeah, no cap. I gotta do that because I'm like lately I've been wanting to go to the studio a lot, but that's good. Like, see, you know, as an artist, sometimes we might get in a zone. We'll be like, man, I don't even feel like going to the studio. Today. Mm. You feel me? Like, like I ain't even like nah, cause you got it. Got to You gotta feel it. You know, but lately I've been really feeling it. Like, damn, I want to go to the studio. Let's go to the studio. Let's go to the studio. I got, I got my swag back. Yeah, oh, you got to run with that moment, man. Yeah, exactly. You've you got to stay run with in that. it. Yeah, you got yeah. to. That's what I've been telling my people. Like, bro, we got to like, we got to go. Like, we yeah, need to go. Or, like, I'm feeling. It. Yeah, if the time is right, man, you've just, you've got to be there right now. You got to. That's just how I go. Yeah, that's how I go. Cause you know, like sometimes you just be staying in, staying in, and you say, "Oh, you think, oh, I should hit the club tonight or next week, next week." Uh, uh-uh. uh. You need to be out there, fam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need to be out there. You need to be out, out there. Out there, the <laughs> you, need be out there you need to be no, out there, fam. Up, man. Yeah, yeah, real yeah. deal. If you've got that, like that magic moment, man, and, and like you've got your your formula, you should, you need to run with it, man. Got to. That's what I'm doing. And, Running with it. Yeah, man, and f- to find you, you know what I mean, to find. Like as you say, the artist you want to be, your exactly, voice. Exactly. Yeah, mm. I've been, I've been really, I've been really making some dope stuff. I think. Yeah. 
real dope music. It, it, it really feels that way, man. It really feels like I feel like that though. I feel like I'm on some. I feel like I'm on another, another wave right now. Yeah, whole another wave. Yeah, and that groove. Just get the groove, man. For real, for real. I'm I'm jamming. I'm jamming every night. Fact. I'm jamming. With the studio, what sort of hours you work? I work overnight. Mm. Yeah, like eleven to seven. Yeah, best time. Yeah. You'll always get a studio at those times. Best time, it's just you. Yeah, I almost I always go in overnight, mm. even in the A. I used to, when I was younger, I used to like going to the studio in the daytime. I used to always tell people I couldn't sing at night. I used to always be like, I, I can't do it at night. Because that's because I used to be, my schedule was different. I was waking up super early, you know what I'm saying? And But I still like daytime. It all depends. Like mm. Out here, it's kind of like those are the times we could get. And in the A, it kind of be like that. So I always end up. Just having to get the the overnight session. Yeah. So I end up liking it, but you know, preferably I would want to be in there like from two to whenever I want to leave. Cause yeah. It's really. never a cap time on the end of it. Like we never go from like, oh, we got four hours in the studio. Mm. It's always like we go to whenever we tired. Mm. But yeah, man, I've been going there. So like I said, I did like eight songs out here. Shout out to the Beat Freaks. Um, now with the producers, are you all different producers? Yeah, all different producers. And that works for you, man, just to get you, like... Yeah, I'm, I'm just on some, just trying stuff, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly. Just different, different sounds, different vibe. Of course, I got my in-house producers, mm. but, you know, we opening the door. So, Beat Freaks, who you've been messing with in London? Yeah, yeah. Oh, for, yeah. How's that been working? Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool, Good. it's cool, <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they nice don't. vibe? Yeah, yeah, nice vibe, nice vibe. And are they coming with beats, or are they they producing the studio? Um, well, they well, they have in the studio and they got beats. Okay. And then perfect. I got my other beats too. You know, they give me the space. They let me do my yeah. thing. You feel me? But of course, while I do my thing, I make sure I, you know, do something for them. Mm. Yeah. Now, do you stick around for the mix or do you leave that to the engineer? Um, It depends. Like, see, when I get my records mixed for real, like Fareed pretty much mixed my records. Mm. Um, Or EJ, you know what I'm saying? EJ done did a couple of them in the A. You know what I'm saying? I could really pretty much lead them. In the studio. Just leave it to it, man. Yeah, I ain't yeah. got to really, because they know me. They know how how it needs to sound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that could be long, brother. Yes, you, sir. That could slow your creativity down. Cause I you, used to you always, got... like, I used to always, and even still, like, I'm always there for the mixing sessions. I just thought about it. For my album, I was there. For every project, I'm always there, because you still have to make sure it's right. Yeah, for you real. You feel me? Like, even though you got your great engineers, you know, you still have to make sure. Your that, vision. Right. You got to make sure that it's right for you. And, and uh, I remember when I made 19... I remember, I think my boy Jay Mills mixed that one. He killed it, too. Shout out to Jay Mills. Uh, I remember we was up all night. Like, I remember I used to have this little certain effect I used to like on my <laughs> on my, uh, on my voice. Yeah. Just at the end of my runs, I used mm. to like, it was like a little echo, but I used to like put it in every gap. I used mm. to make sure we sit right there and put it in every gap. It used to take so much time, but he used to, we used to do it, though. You know what I'm saying? We we put in that work. Yo, why not, baby? Yeah, everybody that, everybody that don't work with me, we done put in a lot of work, you know, so I appreciate everybody that that never put in work with me, you know? Yeah. That's the ethic, man. Definitely. Yo, a lot of collabs on the album, man. Yeah, definitely. Shout out to everybody that was Everyone on Everyone jumped on. Everybody. Shout out to everybody that's on it because it's a lot of people. Thug, Dage Loaf, uh, Jagged Edge, uh, Latasha Scott of Escape, um, Jermaine Dupree, Birdman, uh, Chris Brown, Trey. Uh, shout out Donnell Jones. For real. Um... Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yes, I salute you and yeah. remembering. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, everybody. <laughs> we got there. Yeah, for sure. It's a lot of people, man. Uh, so you've got Queen Mix 3. Queen Mix 3, it's on the way. That was I heard you playing um, Vouch. I redid Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates record, Vouch. I put the Quincy on the Quincy Gates. That's my artist, FYB. Mm. So Queen Mix 3 is really going to be about FYB. You know, I'm going to put all my artists on it. On your label? Yeah, all my artists will be on Queen Mix 3. It's all about us. And so it, it, that's Q Mix C. It's just not you. It's gonna be me, Issa, C Trillionaire, DC Da Vinci, Bulky, Tevin, uh, V Pace, DC. Did I name everybody? So all your artists are gonna be on Q Mix Three. Issa, crazy. Uh, yeah, it's all us. Yeah, oh, it's all, crazy! All, all, all us gonna be in. I'm gonna play everybody. Crazy on features, man. Yeah. And no respect that man. Yeah. Uh, bad game, baby. Spray ground. Yes, sir. Shout out to uh, David and the whole spray ground. Why, now, what was the move with that? I mean, I always been a creative. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I always been somebody that was creative outside of music. Like in high school, like I, I used to make um, all the FYB clothes. I still do like make the little designs and stuff like that. So I, I, I always wanted to, you know, do something with fashion. I always liked spray ground bags. Mm. 
when I first started going to New York, I used to always go to the office, and David told me that he was a fan of my music, you know. And one day we was going to do something, and the time was right. I told him I wanted to do something right when my album was going to drop. And um, the collaboration bag is, uh, you see FYP patches all yes. over, the 4275 patches. I made the bags orange and camouflage because orange is my mom's favorite color, so mm -hmm. I always wrap stuff around my mom. And uh, she was in the Army, too, so that's why you see the, the camo. And... um. You see the ten thousand dollar bag. I, yeah. I, I used to just walk around with like ten k cash. Yeah, I remember when you, you know, was at the crib. You had ten k. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. What? Jacquees. In Jacquees, yeah, yeah. Hundred dollar bills, baby. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Respect the gangster, man. Yeah. <laughs> I respect what? it, man. But yeah, so I put the ten k on the bag, and I put the um, you know. B, this ain't your money. That was a line from BD. I put that on the bag. And uh, and I respect up. how you parlayed that. You know what I mean? From liking the bag, from cropping the bags, the parlayed exactly. to you. Yeah, and we I just respect did your a, hustle, we, man. Yeah, we just did like a little pop-up shop in New yeah. York. All the kids was down there buying it. It was dope. Like They was really in line buying my bags. Like, for real. That's blessed. That's super blessed. I was, I was happy. That was a good feeling. Yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for coming through the crib last time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Respect that. Time. Big, yeah, man. And that, uh, that video was epic. Yeah, Freestyle. man. Oh, for real. Yeah, they love that. Yeah, man. And the crib is just so relaxed. Yeah, it's so it's different. Yeah. yeah it's different. Drinking liquor, smoking weed. <laughs> right. Just doing you, fam. Exactly. It's this, just like this the real crib. corporate. That's why I say, oh, it's the corporate Tim Westwood today. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Exactly. Straight up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, you got it going, man. Yes, sir. Well, we salute you, man. Uh, we, we wish you well with all of it, man. Thank you. The moment is now, man. Exactly. It's right now. now. I got to go yeah. get it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta go get it. And we really want you to get it, man, because, yeah, we're big fans, man. Thank you, Tim. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. Thank you, family.